Hi guys and welcome back to my channel and another vloggy vlog vlog. We are currently up in Epsom, right by Epsom Racecourse at Clear Height Stables owned by Simon Dow, racehorse trainer. And we are going to be spending the day in the life of a racehorse, spending the morning seeing exactly what goes on behind the scenes. So I'm going to take you guys along with us. You know, we'll do a bit of history of Epsom without boring you to death. I'm going to, uh, we're going to go and do a yard tour as well, of course, see the horses horse by horse. Uh, Chris Hughes very kindly is going to take care of us and, uh, and look after us and host us. <laughs> Try and take care. Through the, through the, through the morning. Um, and um, we're going to go up onto the gallops to see the horses train on the historic ups and downs. Um, we're going to try and get one of the horses when he returns from his um, from his training session to roll to order in our own custom-made sand pen. Whether he'll cope with it in front of an audience, we'll have to see. But um, you know, I think it's quite an interesting point play, place to start. Is the uh, lifestyle of racehorses is extremely important to people like me and Karen and Tracy and everybody who's involved and lives and works with them. Being in horse racing is a little bit like being in the circus. It's a way of life as opposed to a career choice or a life choice. And it unfortunately consumes absolutely everything that you do and think about. And the horses become an extension of our family. And um, I've just been speaking to, to uh, one client who's, you know, wants to put his horse in the sales. And it actually makes you feel just inside, it's like selling the dog, you know. Yeah. Maybe a smelly dog, but at the same time, <laughs> it still feels like selling the dog. And, oh. um, so, you know, say, but at the same time, we're in the leisure industry and our job is to, my job as a trainer is to ensure that my clients are entertained in the leisure industry through the unusual pursuit of having a racehorse and training, which is a, a sort of a roller coaster of a, a journey. And it's a journey that reflects real life because in real life, the people who do well don't always deserve to do well. And the people who do badly don't always deserve to do badly. And the same is true of a racehorse. And before I go on too much, so one of my many uh, little sayings is that uh, when you think you've had your best day, you can be pretty sure there's a better one coming but sadly the same applies to when you think you've had your worst day. So it's a real true roller coaster and lots of ups and downs. It's a great journey if you can hang on. It's like Marmite, it doesn't suit everybody. And as I say, from a, a owner's perspective, um, you know, amazingly brave to be able to spend that or be prepared to spend that sort of money and throw that sort of commitment and that sort of uh, emotion into it. And uh, you know, the owners become they become part of our extended family, you know, the people who are with the horses, you know, you're the first person who gets asked to uh, dinner after the immediate family is normally the racehorse trainer, and not because they like him, because they want to hear about the bloody horse. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> Chris, I'll leave it to you, well done. Yeah, no, um, thanks guys, obviously looking forward to it. Good to showcase National Racehorse Week, it's gonna be, it's gonna be an amazing week. Great for like, obviously people like yourself, letting, letting, the general public into race courses to help break that perception. Obviously, there's so many people I've learned just over the last four years of having a platform myself to actually have an opinion on whether it's mental health stuff, whether it's like the BBC documentary I did on testicular cancer and raising awareness. Like, it's the same applies for race horses. Like, we mm -hmm. I know from a ten year old since I've had ponies, they were kept in training at, um, at point to point yard, and my like one of my ways to keep my pony at those yards without physically paying for it was to ride out the pointers and just look after them. And one of my earliest memories was Earth Summit was kept at that point to point yard, a Grand National winner, a Scottish National and Welsh National winner as well. So I was very fortunate there and I know the levels of care from like an early age, but not everybody does. So to have the general public come down and for people just to come in, change their perception, hopefully if they've got any negative opinions on how racehorses are looked after is a great thing. So good work, great British racing. It's a great initiative and uh, yeah, we'll go have some fun, won't we? Sounds good. Race horses, no horses, are, as we all know, are meant to live inside. They're supposed to live out on ranges and in plains. Unfortunately, race horses aren't capable of doing that anymore. We've taken away their ability to do that because of the refinements been necessary to make them go faster and faster and faster. So a bit like people where people never used to be allergic to um, cheese, tired. red meat, weird You're things. Tired. Horses get lots of silly little allergies. And one thing that they are really allergic to is dust. You remember from when you've lived it, you've been in racing stables. And uh, that's why you get, you get some yards, don't they? They're like, um, I know this for instance, some, some yards base their training on that. They're kind of like, 
the, the air you can get yeah. through sweeping through a yard. Yeah, yeah. Airflow, fresh air. Helps results as well, Absolutely. doesn't it? It's an amazing thing. Absolutely. It sounds so it sounds so minimal, but it's even little things like that. Um, Twelve times a year we have a guy come in, every horse comes out the stable, he goes in with the the, you know the, the fogger and he, and he's pioneering in a wonderful uh, environmentally friendly non-aggressive um, disinfectant which I think which is actually even being used in the fight against COVID and I think it will be uh, pioneering in keeping all horses healthy in their stable environment but um, yeah how they live is very important but yeah you want no dust the, the hay has got to be clean <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's used to, he's, I'm boring. So I'm boring. I'm boring. This morning. <laughs> oh. He said, This is because he bloody feeds me at four o'clock in the morning. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to be awake yet. <laughs> How many of them have you got to do today? 28. You're all 28? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> Keeping you busy. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Throughout the day. Yeah. And then keep on top of it, like yeah. Yeah. This afternoon. Yeah. Come in, feed, muck them out. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Then we feed. Long old day. Yeah. Just been out on the gallops. Oh, and they've got to come past the flags. Life is wrong. Oh, what a sweetheart. As soon as it's gone, doesn't bat an eyelid. That's good. Look to the left, look to the right. Nothing can stop me in the night like I am leaving all the bad stuff. And trying to remain so strong. I know it's good if I'm on. I got it. I got it. No, I don't think it is. Taurus. 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 So that's a big thing. Aww. I was just saying, I love how they've all got like stable doors and windows. Oh, Lucky ponies. What's your scrunchie? <laughs> They're all very friendly, aren't they? I want the scrunch. Yeah, they are. Give her a little top knot, Meg. Yeah. <laughs> Give her. <laughs> Walking on your thumbs and your big toes and walking like that in a four. So it's an amazing amount of weight on very, very delicate structures. And so therefore, the confirmation of how the horse is, is gonna be everything. This is gonna put pick his leg up so you can shift, see the shoe underneath. So it's nice very- clean shoe though. Good clean shoe, very important. The heels, the heels are everything. And the foot shape is everything. So the, the shoe should come just the edge of where the heel so it's pretty properly supported. So the racehorse is highly likely to overextend the hind foot and pull his front shoe off, mm -hmm. which you definitely don't want him to do. So for years the temptation with the racehorse was to um, black just used to let them drop their heels and let their toes grow so as they almost had shovels to pull themselves along. I think thankfully that practice has now been uh, discouraged because of course it upsets the delicate uh, structures further up the leg. And when this horse's pedal bone, which is just here, in the middle of this foot, when that lands, that must be in rhythm with everything that goes on in here. So you can imagine the number of strides he's going to take in his life at speed after, over a period of time, a bit like if you've got um, the uh, suspension not right in the car, the shock absorbers start to wear out. Yeah tires start to wear out. So how he's landing and what his foot shape is and what happens to his limbs during his period of being in training is quite important to us and it's going to dictate to me and to the client and the owner and to the horse of course the length of his career and indeed how successful he then might be. How often did you have the farrier in? So for the young horses, the young horses would require farrier every three to four weeks. With a race horse like him, he would get shod every month. Yeah. But you try to put the lighter shoes on him, aluminium plates, he's got steel shoes on at the moment, but you put the aluminium plates on him to race. The old days, the practice was plates off the next day, 
nowadays, Miriam, because they're much stronger yeah. um, made. We, we keep them on until they uh, until they need reason. We're going to go and try and roll this horse yeah. and see if, see if we can get him to roll to order. We're going to roll him. <laughs> <laughs> and that's usual for after all, exercise. Normally they'd all oh, lovely. Yeah. Obviously only one so for, like yeah. yeah. Oh, bless. listening for noise, particularly inspiratory noise. Big difference between expiratory and inspiratory noise. Inspiratory noise is an indicator of things going wrong in the upper respiratory tract, which is, you know, boring, 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 but it's uh, it's like we were say, seeing with that horse this morning with the, yeah. with the dirty nose, and also can, of course, be the sign of an oncoming, um, you know, debilitating respiratory condition, which can just be a, like a little light cold, but has, because of the enormous gaseous exchange that's going on through the nostril with a racehorse with every stride, it's significantly important. Here's the actual Epsom track. We are on the turf itself. The horses have just had a blast. I didn't actually film it because I had my camera out. I wanted to take some nice photos and you can't do both. Um, but here they are. Coming back around behind us, I'm sure the other girls will have captured the high speed action in their vlogs. <laughs> you look like they've enjoyed themselves, that's for sure. Well done, that was impressive actually. Jeeps don't have the best um, I really lock. Really I really got Jeep. Chris, that did. Yeah. Well, I've yeah, got yours does, yeah, forget that, forget that, forget that. Yeah, but yours are smaller. Yeah, true. Yeah, I bet you or you got Emma those, and Meg are just yeah, um, I got putting B, Chris actually, under pressure no, here. No, He's good, you know, I was eight. I was more maths than I was English. <laughs> I was <really laughs> and so hence the said, accounting. Gosh. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's good though. A, B's are good, like. Stay in school, yeah? Stay always stay in school. Always stay in school. Do you know what kids. life was like? Weren't, weren't life easy? Stay in school, kids. Like, life easier when you're in school. Oh, God, wasn't it just? Oh. Here we have another lot heading over to the gallops. You guys must be uber fit yourselves. <laughs> well, how many times have you been out this morning? Six. Six? Yeah. Wow. <laughs> have fun. <laughs> That's insane. Gosh, they, they have to be just as fit as the horses, the riders. They've been out galloping six times already this morning. The riders, not the horses. That's insane, isn't it? Right, the girls are getting prepped now because they've got questions to ask Chris and Simon. Yeah. Have you got some come through for both on your Instagram? Oh, Em's had loads of questions come through. I'm going to ask Ree some questions in a minute. Yeah, do you want to? 
I would like to. Yeah, Will you yeah. be in my vlog, please? Yes, I'd love Who recognises Ray from Series 1 of the Blue Chip All Star Academy? Yeah, and now I work in racing. The winner, Lucy. Yeah, this is the like <laughs> um, Yeah, she now works for the Racing Foundation. I do, yeah. So we're a charitable foundation and we were set up with the proceeds of the government sale of the tote back in 2012. So we fund all sorts of charitable initiatives in racing and horse welfare is one of our really key areas that we love to fund. So we're part funding National Race Horse Week because what an amazing event! It is amazing. I'm so excited yeah. for it. It's been fab that you have had us here today yeah. and I'm looking forward to the week in September too. Oh. That is where we get the opportunity and all you guys do too get the opportunity to go to any yard. Well, there's over 100 trainers yards being yeah. opened throughout the UK. Yeah. So I'm in South Wales myself. So when I use the postcode finder on I'll the, insert that over the top the here. The Racehorse Week yeah. website. Um, my closest yard is Evan Williams. Right, and okay. It, amazingly enough, it, he lives and his yard is in the same village as my horse's yard. Wow. So it's literally, he's a couple of miles down the road okay. from where my horses are kept. So You're going to be going there then? I'll be going there. So it'll be <laughs> great fun to go and see uh, all his yeah. amazing horses. That so you guys personal. need to be sure to go and head over to the National Racehorse Week website, pop in your postcode and it'll show you any yards close to you or the availability of... There's yeah. probably going to be two or three in some locations, aren't there, yeah, that people yeah, can yeah. choose from? Absolutely, yeah. You can choose which yard you go to. You do need to book, don't you? Yeah, register your interest just so they know members and that mm -hmm. sort of thing. But you don't have to pay. It's all free of charge. A fab family day out to find out a bit more about the world in the life of a racehorse. I know, and yeah. they're amazing, aren't they? Just it's insane. I love seeing the one roll in the sandpit and then coming over here yeah. and having his wash off. Like I it just know. shows like how adored they are. And I also love how they put Chris Hughes to work. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And then the next one on. came in as well, and he was like, "Got another one to wash now," but happily stood there. Yeah, it for them. So yeah. sweet. It's very nice. It's, nice. it's a nice experience because I knew nothing about this myself at all. I've never been to a race day anything, so it's yeah. nice for an outsider in a different like part of the equestrian world yeah and what's cool as well is if you do go racing after this for fun you'll yeah, know so you, much exactly because you've actually met the racehorses yeah. and you like know a little bit i'm about. keen to i really want to now it's one yeah. of those things that like i've always seen i always, always think it looks i sound a bit fickle but it looks nice to go and put on a pretty dress yeah, and go yeah, and have a few drinks yeah exactly but it. i've never actually known much about the actual racing part of it itself and yeah. when you see just how adored and well cared for Look at them wanting to make scrunchy. <laughs> they are, and like you can tell that they just love their job as well. They can't love you? it, yeah. But that makes me keen to. So we need to plan a date, girls. Are you, wow, you going to chaperone us to our first ever event? Yeah, shotgun Re event. It's one. not. I love how us events is calling it an event. Yeah, a race meet. So it's well. a race meet. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the terminology and lingo that we're learning, isn't it, Em? Yeah. Em keeps picking out all the chestnuts because she's falling in love with every single chestnut while she's here. They think you might have a carrot in that bag because you did have them. I've just given one. I've just given one. Oh, oh, yeah. It's, yeah, been an absolutely amazing morning. I don't want it to end. We're having so much fun. <laughs> As you can see with all the vlogging going on, be sure to check out everybody's vlogs, guys, because we've all tried our best to show a little bit of variety as opposed to just all the same thing. Oh, look, Ree's got the goods. You just look so sweet. Oh. They're so gentle. They're well. so lovely, aren't they? Very cute. Have you had a plait or have you just got a natural curl went, to your hair? I was just thinking that. Yeah. Is this one being plaited up or have you just got a perm? Yeah. <laughs> we like, don't well, know. Natural, natural curl. curl. Because I was thinking, oh, I would, couldn't right. see you just randomly plaiting it for. So I had the GHD wand on this morning. <laughs> this one gets this one free. doesn't need it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, I'm coming to nose at your feed store now. I know Emily's already been in here, but I spied all those buckets. Is it twice a day they're fed or more? More. More? About four o'clock, someone will come around with a scoop. Yeah. Go around. Okay. And then they have like what we call brunch. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. And then we get. So breakfast, brunch. Yeah, breakfast and lunch is the kind of this. Yeah. Then what they come out. And then after evening staples. So like yeah. just after five ish, you need these Yeah. But they're full right up like that as a feed. Quite big. Yeah. And like they said, um, sorry, Simon was saying earlier, they don't gorge that. They like. Just slowly oh, yeah. eat it as they need it. Like the day. that's yeah, good. Because our piggy porkers would just eat it as quick as possible. But oh, bless. Yeah, 
Very lucky pony. Well, horses. horses. We know we love yes, to call them our ponios. It's a lovely yard. What a fabulous place. I hear you've worked here a long, long time. Very long. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Clearly enjoy your job then. <laughs> I love my job here. It's lovely. It's easy. Well, you know, if you like the job. If you're passionate easy. about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. Exactly that. And, you know, come in the horses. Do you well. have a favourite horse? Of course. Which one? Corazon. Is that right here? Yes. Uh, is that is that why he's closest to the feed room? No, he likes it here. And he's got a lot of wind that comes. Oh, through. that's nice to keep him cool. Come on, come close to the camera. Hello. Oh, look at your lovely stable as well. You that deep it? bed. Yeah. What's he called? Corazon Espinado. Corazon Espinado. Look, yes. here we go. He won up on um, Oaks Day up at Epsom this year. He won. Yeah, on Oaks Day. Epsom oh, well, that must have been a proud day then when Very he's your favourite. And we had little Holly Doyle on board as well, didn't we? Oh. <laughs> And has he raced recently? Hopefully go to Goodwood at the end of the month. Oh, okay. You know, Brilliant. We'll see if we get in. You know, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. so there's a process you have to go through to get yeah, accepted. Yeah, and declares. Oh, declare okay. Them and then see, like, because there's so many entered and then yep. see if we get picked up. Is it a bit like us eventers? We can get balloted out? Yes. Oh, it exactly is? Like oh, okay. See if you qualify. Oh, or, you know, okay. That's like good. That's Good for our audience to know because, <laughs> yeah. yeah, we only know the eventing lingo. <laughs> Same kind of thing, really. So like you put yeah, in for and you can qualify for certain things. Yeah, and... yeah, and then oh. that race, yeah. Fabulous. He looks very chilled when he's in his stable, he is, you know, snoozing. Six. Six. Colt, yeah, he's oh. entire still, so. Oh, wow. Yeah. And he knows uh, how to say oh. please and thank you for his carrots. I think he knows you love him. Of course, yes. <laughs> oh. Okay, Laura's just told me that he has been taught how to say please and thank you for his carrot. So, gentle, gentle. You've heard the word carrots, haven't you? I'm waiting to see this now. It says please and thank you for his carrots. That's basically it for thank you as well. Oh, yeah, but how polite. What a little. Oh, right, I'm gonna have to try and teach Banksy that. That's my horse at home. Not bad, is he? No, that's very good. Mine just mugs my pockets. <laughs> yeah, that's that when I don't ask him for it. Oh, good boy. Yeah. What a sweetheart. Thank you. So, for my vlog, I'm trying to basically just show a little overview of the okay. day in the life of a racehorse. Okay. So, pretty much, I know we heard from Simon earlier that their day starts at around 4 a.m. Is that right? Yeah, or your that's day? Right. It's his day. His and then we day. We start at 6. The oh, rest of okay. Us in at start at so, he comes out early, early and gives them their first feed. It's like their breakfast type yeah. thing before. And then free. they've got time for that to go down before, before they go out exercising. About exercising. That's right, yeah. Brilliant. Yep. And then when you get on the yard, what's the first thing you do? Um, <clears throat> muck out the ones that are out on the walker because we don't muck them out normally when they're in. Yeah. So yeah. there's dust free and all that. Oh, brilliant, yeah. And I then, saw how thorough, what's the chat calls that she's Brandon. Using? Yeah, Brandon. Brandon yeah. I witnessed him mucking out earlier <laughs> and saw how thorough he was. Yeah, he's very thorough. Very good. good, clean, yeah. yeah. Very good. And then, so when they're out, yeah. I then put their ones on the walker to then muck their ones out. Okay. They come back in, yep. they tack up their next lots. Yep. After they've washed their ones that have gone out previously. Yep. And then they go out. It's basically like that. Yeah, really. yeah. And it's generally and then, three or four that go out at a time together? Yeah, it depends if we have like anyone coming to ride. Yeah, or, how many so, riders yeah, normally you get, I suppose. Normally how many got... pairs of hands you've got. Yeah, exactly. Oh, your, your friend there wants you. He Hello. wants kisses. <laughs> Do you want kisses? Or does he want what's in your hand? Probably. He wants food all yeah. the time. Eat them. So. <laughs> well, he is the closest <laughs> to the feed store. <laughs> then after they've been exercised they go and have the roll yes yeah, yeah, yeah and yeah. then they have a wash down yes and is it just once a day they go out like they go out they exercising work? once yeah. a day yeah. yeah and then if we get the time and you know it's warmer yeah we get as many as we can out in the pens and oh lovely oh that, okay yeah. so they get to have a nice stroll and graze and yeah. do they roll out there as well or do they they've the taken the advantage have. of no, the, the have. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Fillies have before they roll and get up Aww. and squeal about and all that yeah lovely yeah. Enjoy their little life, I think. Yeah, just as much as we yeah, can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean, wow! It's amazing to see how well kept they are and how loved they are, and how they, how much they adore all the affection as well. Oh, they're just they are, aren't they? They're really sport this lot. They really <laughs> are. Oh. Right, she's the tallest girl. Who's the tallest boy on the yard? Um, it'd be between... I was said I was surprised at how I, they're smaller than I thought they would yeah. be. Lots of them. Yeah. Yeah. She's probably, as I say, she's probably a tallest girl. Yeah. Definitely. And then we've either got Soyuz, which is down there. Mm hmm. Or, do you want to walk down there? Yeah, I do. Soyuz, <laughs> which is down there. And Oliver, which is over there. Okay. Soyuz or oh, Oliver? Oh, you like your ponies, don't you, Meg? Yeah. She's either a cheat or a girl that rides. Oh, that was a bit dark. <laughs> I love as well how the majority of them have got their stable door windows and another window too. Yeah, we well, like to airflow. Got, yeah, airflow. exactly. This is Steve or Soyuz. Hello, Steve. There's Steve in the stable. Oh yeah. He, oh yes, he definitely looks like he's got nice long leggies. Yeah, he's very long leggies. Don't you? Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> You're lovely. They're just so chilled. 
Oh, there you go. You can do party tricks. Oh, he does party tricks too. Sometimes. I love how they've sometimes he does all been taught tricks. <laughs> no, he's done it since a fall. Apparently, he used to stick oh. his tongue out. Oh, you are frame. silky. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, he likes that. <laughs> Isn't that nice. Oh, you're gorgeous. Oh, no. And Oliver. Oliver. No, That's Oliver. That's Harry, but he's asleep. Oh. <laughs> Don't disturb you, you've got shavings on your nose. <laughs> oh, so relaxed. Yeah. It is a very peaceful setting. <laughs> Apart from when all us lot are here, yeah. <laughs> making a load of noise. They take it in, they take it in. Uh, my husband put hung um, hanging baskets outside my stables recently, but my husband oh. can reach it. This is Oliver. Oh, this is the one that Chris was having snuggles with. Oh, yeah, sorry. Look at you with the grandest stable of them all. That's it's massive. Toby the, Toby the cob. Yeah. <laughs> actually, yes, his face does look a little bit more wider Wide. than that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you two friends? Are you two friends? Oh, you're all so beautiful. I'm smitten. Yes, you've got lovely cheekbones. Yes. <laughs> Hello, behind me. Hello. Oh, gosh. You all want attention. <laughs> right, I'm going to move swiftly on because they're filming over there and Tina's very noisy. Oh, your hay gain as well. That's making sure that everything's dust free. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. Seen how that works? I haven't actually seen how that works. I know Lucy's got one. And then what you do is just fill it up with yeah, water yeah, like you do a yeah, normal kettle. Yeah. Press that. Yeah. And then it cooks when it gets to 80. Oh, wow. And then do you have to leave it? And you just obviously open it and yeah. say, let it, not let it air. Yeah, yeah. You take it out. Yes. Oh, and I bet they like it when it's freshly done. Do, it's really yeah, because nice. it's not good for my hands when I take it out. And... All of a sudden, yeah, it's too hot. <laughs> but yeah, no, it's, it's, That's a big one as well, isn't it? Yeah. Does a whole bale at once. A whole bale at once. Yeah, so. fantastic. I mean, we get through about three or four a day. Really? Yeah. yeah at least. Yeah, yeah. But nice to know that they're getting it all, all dust extracted. Yeah, yeah, yeah lovely. Oh. Shows the extent of the care they get, doesn't it? Well, Very good. We try our best. Yeah. To... Well, it's clear from yeah what we've all seen here today. <laughs> it's fantastic. Meg's still smitten by the little one. Look. She's cute. Is oh, does she run? She has run. She had her first run the other day at Epsom. Oh, to be oh, fair, she ran really well. She got really tired. She was the smallest in the field. Oh. And um, hello. She, we thought she was gonna do get placed on midfield halfway through, and then she just got tired at the end. Oh bless her. Ran out of energy. She can come home with you, Meg. Be next eventer. <laughs> She's cute, isn't she? She did break my hair, but oh, I saw her snug. I saw her snuzzle in your scrunchie earlier. Oh, that is a smitten face. She's so sweet. The hard work never stops, though, does it, Laura? No. Is it seven days a week? Do you get a day off? Yeah, you do. You get the Sunday off. You have Sunday off. Do the horses have Sunday off too? Oh, fantastic. So Simon's in charge of doing that. Is he on a Sunday? No, he's home, mucks out. Oh, he and does everything? One of us do the walker. Oh. One of us the walkers and then the haze. Yeah. So, yeah. Teamwork but certainly makes teamwork. a dream work, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's it certainly does. does. So yeah. It's more like that side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know Funny that, Em's round with the mares. <laughs> you like the girlies, don't you? I'm a mare girl. Chestnut girlies. <laughs> yeah. Chestnut. Right, oh, have you found him for your wrap? Do the questions, yeah, of course. Right, head over to M's vlog, guys, if you want to see her Q and A session with Chris. A bit nervous. And Simon, or just Chris? Um, I've got pictures. Um, got questions for both of them. Okay. To be fair, I've got more for Simon than I have for. Ah, interesting. And that one's just had a wash. I think there's some gramming going on. So I have asked my Instagram followers to ask some questions for yourself and for Simon. Yeah, so we're going to start. Here. Yeah. Um, so you did touch on it a little bit at the beginning and when it all started today. You especially have a great rapport with kind of any horse you go up to. So what do you think is kind of special about race horses that people don't see when they watch them on TV? So we're kind of finishing up here at the yard now today. We've had a fantastic morning. Yep. Seeing how well cared for these gorgeous animals are. We're going on to National Racehorse Week in September. 
I've just spoke to Ray about the postcode finder, which shows where we can go and visit yes. the yards, which are local to each and every person that's watching area. We want to know which yard you'll be going to in that week, Chris. Um, I think for me, my, I, there's there's a few in the Cotswolds. Yeah. You're like Martin Keatley, I think you've got Kim Bailey, Fergal O'Brien. I'm sure John Joe will sign up soon as well. Yeah, I mean, um, there's over a hundred. There's trainers, loads. I yeah, believe, there's there's up. a lot of there's a lot of trainers within the Cotswolds, so I will dot around, go yeah. around all of them. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Why not? Well, being in Cornwall, we're not so lucky to have quite so no, many locations many. to go to. But we will, of course, be using that search. And you, <laughs> can, you can travel and really enjoy it. Well, yeah, he is. But they really put, your, that. put your whole hand in his mouth, see what happens. No, thank you. I'm not that mad. Well, you show me first and then. Uh... I don't think he'd bite. I, I will risk my. I will risk my. Oh arm. my goodness! I'm actually scared. It might bite. Um, but yes, we're all obviously we, we can see how passionate you are about. Yeah, I love the, the animals. Horses. Look at him. How can you not love this? Oh, chestnut? I know. Beautiful little thing. He really loves you as well. Well, yeah. They're but I'm really not risking putting my hand in his mouth. It's reciprocated. You know he what I mean? He's reciprocating the love. I mean. He's actually just then. fully playing. That's if he wanted to bite you, he'd go like that. Okay. Now. So why do we feel it's so important that we have the celebration of the racehorse week? I think. Just for racehorses, I mean, they're just special animals. They they literally power our sport. I mean, they they're the life and soul. Without a racehorse, I mean, there is no horse race. It's such a huge sport, such a huge industry, which gives so much, and it's all because of these animals. So to celebrate them in the way they're looked after is is obviously so important. And you know, people are quick to criticise race uh, horse racing in the respect that. That, I mean, a lot of people with opinions on how racehorses are treated absolutely know absolutely nothing about it. So it's so important, that, and it's great that trainers are opening their yards to people just to come in and be able to see and to change that stigma, that opinion that is behind how racehorses are looked after. Because mate, they live such a good life, and if I was if I was to come back as anything else in life, I'd come back as one of <laughs> Love these. Love that. So, mate, Most people say a cat, but mate, look Chris look is look coming out. back as a racehorse. He's absolutely chilling. Look at him. Yeah, yeah. And it's lovely for everybody to be given the opportunity to see behind the scenes because all we ever really see is them on the telly racing. Yeah, yeah, we, we see don't. them on the telly. No, and, and that's what I mean. You've got so many people and a huge demographic of race of horse racing fans don't get to see the racehorse yeah. in person or don't get to go to yards because obviously it's a working environment. It's quite hard just to walk in. So it's going to be oh, a great exactly. week. It's a huge week. So in it, and it's a great opportunity to go down and visit them and you'll see the care and attention. They absolutely love it. And I mean, he's being mucked out now as we yeah, speak. Literally. It's like a constant all day job. It's an operation. 4 a.m. in the morning, all day through, constantly seven. skipping out the bay, just making sure they've got the very best care possible. Well, it's been a fantastic day. Thank you so much for hosting this. Oh, it's been an absolute pleasure. It's been good fun, isn't it? Yeah, nice it to meet has all indeed. You guys. And we're Thanks for um, coming down. holding you to that day at the races, too. I know, yeah, I owe you a day at the races now. <laughs> Aren't we girls? Yay! Day at the races. He promised Emily, but I said we come as a four. Yeah, you come as a four. It's going to be an expensive day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that is a wrap, guys. I hope you have enjoyed experiencing the race yard with us. I'm having to be a bit quiet because there's some filming going on in the background over here. Chris is just doing an interview, I believe, with... Oh, actually, I'm not 100% sure who he's doing it with, but he's doing an interview, so I need to be quiet. But I need to sign off out of my vlog because, one, I need to have pony cuddles, and two, my battery's going to die because we've used our phones so much this morning. You're enjoying that, aren't you? You're enjoying that. They're such gorgeous creatures. Be sure to check out the website, guys, of where you can go and visit a yard near you during the week in September, which is the 12th to the 19th. Me and Em will be venturing, I think, up to Taunton, is one of the closest to us in Cornwall. Um, and we're also, hopefully, looking forward to this day at the races that we've been promised. Fingers crossed that can happen. I'm currently getting mugged. Good job I don't need to stay clean because my top is going to be dirty now because you're grubby. You're eating my handbag. Don't break it. Thank you. Got to go and be quiet because the filming's going on. Hope you've enjoyed the vlog. Bye, bye, bye. And bye from them over there, too. My battery's going to die, so I'm saying bye. Enjoy Race Horse Week. See me at one near me. Or one near two. If you live near Norfolk, make sure you go to one there. Type in, type in my post. I won't tell you what my post is. But come Norfolk, Norfolk Way, I'll be there. Come and see us. Do you think people will have watched to the end for a little bit of behind the scenes fun? Oh, I think that's three, not four, guys. We can't count. Somebody gets to go in the old ones. <laughs>